Hi guys, Code is here. Welcome back to my channel. So, this is a hero tutorial about Garo. If you want to win an epic skin, follow the steps and wait for the giveaways. May the light shine everywhere. Dolphin engage. You have so much Basic attacks are Garo's main form of damage output. Her passive skill grants her basic attacks and skills a shield breaking effect allowing them to deal double damage against enemies with shields. Skill 1 grants enhanced basic attacks. When used, Garo expands or collapses her long bow. When expanded, she gains increased range in her basic attacks to additional damage. When collapsed, her attack speed and range are restored to normal and each basic attack restores mana. Tips 1. Collapse her longbow when trying to rotate. Make use her bonus of movement speed to reach your destination faster. Or you can use it to escape a little bit faster. Skill 2 is a crowd control skill. It deals damage along a designated path inflicting silence and slow debuffs before dealing additional damage to enemies within range after a short delay. Her ultimate is a crucial enhancement skill. She can inflict crowd control by forming the magic circle or making it disappear. Forming the circle deals area damage and enhances her attack speed and critical rate. Making it disappear deals further area damage and enhances teammates' critical rate and movement speed. This is her commonly used skill combo. She starts with skill 1 to poke the enemies. Using the ultimate to increase critical rate and attack speed to lower down enemies' health. Then, use skill 2 to silence enemy from using crucial crowd controls or else. After that, continue with the enhanced basic attack until mana was used up. Lastly, enter ultimate to chase any enemies who is low health. This combination of skills is most effective when used alongside teammates' damage output. Garo should prioritize using skill 1 to poke enemies from a distance. If enemies are relatively close by, she can use her ultimate and basic attacks to dish out damage quickly and drive them back. Learning skill 1 at level 1 makes Garo relatively strong. While landing with enemy, she can use skill 1 to range her bows. After securing her lane, she can use her range attack to poke enemy towers and quickly open up the farm lane. In team fights, she usually stays in the rear and uses skill 2 to help her teammates with her crowd control. She can also use her range advantage to help jungling heroes defeat the enemy backline with ease. She naturally counters heroes with shields so when she cannot reach the enemy backline, she should prioritize combining her basic attacks, shield breaking effect with teammates concentrated attacks against the enemy frontline. This helps to share pressure across the team. An enemy when her team is at a disadvantage, she can go on the defense and farm until her equipment is in place. When she can deal the crucial blow that saves the team from crisis. Garo should focus on farming in the early game. She can use skills 1 and 2 to clear lanes safely, poking enemies while keeping herself out of harm's way. Once her equipment is in place in the mid to late game, she can really show off her full potential. To maximize her power, she can use her range damage output in combination with frontline crowd control. So, this is the item and arcana recommended for her burst build for Garo to maximize her burst damage. Garo is best to pick to counter shield heroes, like Zhang Fei, Yaria, Dun, Lu Bei, and Athena. But do note that she is efficient to deal damage on their shield only, she still need to distance herself from them. When your teammate is Garo, she will need support that can protect her in the game, cause she is so squishy to be caught by enemy assassins. Without protection from ally, basically she cannot farm normally and she cannot deal damage to the enemies. So, please choose support like Zhang Fei, Lian Pol, Lu Shan to protect her. If your enemy is Garo, you can counter her using long-range heroes like Gon and Maul, or Nuwa. You can also use high-burst damage heroes like Prince of Lanling, Jing and Lam to gank her, so she cannot farm peacefully. 